So here we have the full moon reading, full moon in Capricorn on the 13th of July. We're going to use moonology and super attractor cards. So with full moons, it is highlighting what we need in our life and what we need to let go of. And then we've got that space to attract. So everyone at the moment can see a sense of responsibility for money and just earthing themselves, putting the practicality back in our life. So the first thing perhaps that we all need to uh, understand is belief in the impossible. So a lot of the times um, when we have these ideas and, and we think, oh, that's too far fetched. Maybe it's not. Think of the possibilities that can come if you just do those practical steps towards your goals. You've also got work through your fears. So when we work through our fears of self-doubt, lack of confidence, uh, well, I haven't got any money to start this. These are just fears. Where is it founded? When we have that Capricorn full moon energy, it really spurs us on to see the highlights of what we need to do. And this is a time to give rather than take with the new moon in Virgo. So Venus is about the love factor of what we really need to look at. So we need to give attention. We need to give the love and harmony into the situation so we can release what we don't need and really understand that by giving to ourselves, we're actually giving to other people. And here you go with the new moon in Aquarius is bring love into the situation. Whenever we bring love, unconditional love, it's a simplicity in the flow of life. And you can see Aquarius tipping out the water, nurturing those dreams. So, hey, believe in the impossible. Isn't that going to be great? So what are you manifesting um, at this time? We use the Moonology manifesting cards, and then we'll have a super attractor. So let's have a look. So first of all, you have that full moon in Sagittarius and see the bigger picture. So hasn't this been a double message for you guys? All of us need to see the bigger picture. So the bigger picture is when we focus and aspire, because Sagittarians are always aiming for that um, bigger picture, the expansion with Jupiter, the um, philosophy of things, understanding spiritual things as well. That is a bigger picture. When we bring all that love into the situation, really aspire to that, then that is definitely the flow of life. So you do have the new moon in Leo. So this is a great time to really highlight as the sun the Leo is the height of summer and all that power, drama, um, yang energy is almost like make hay while the sun shines. And this is a great time to be positive about that goal. What is the very worst that can happen if you stepped out and go, yes, I want to achieve this? You do have the last uh, quarter moon in Virgo, so attending to the details. So you see with the Capricorn energy, they do tirelessly look at the responsibility, the bullet points, maybe writing the things down, making the manifestation goals in the visualizations. Also, you have the full moon in Aquarius and be real. So this is a great time to be authentic about your situation. So it's okay to say, right, I want to be a famous actor. I'm going to get that gold star on the pavement. Unless you do the first steps, which is the reality of the situation. It doesn't matter how much we dream, it's not going to happen. So be authentic, be real, be grounded. So let's have a look at the super attractive cards about what is you bringing into the situation. So these are great positive cards, guys, to manifest your dreams. So do highlight what's needed. So at the moment, you do have that. I trust that my powerful, whoops, amazing. <laughs> I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become my reality. Also, when I'm patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself. So that's that self-belief. That's that Venus in the expansion of the love and the Jupiter of, of the Sagittarian, really expanding the love, the desire and the willpower of what's going on. And also, if you attract, I accept the good things come easily. I am a super attractor. There's your golden star. The star of hope and belief and the possibilities so if you're not aiming for something then 
it's not going to happen. So what we need to do is let go of the old, embrace the new in a goodness that there is light, light within ourselves, put love in the situation, the groundedness and the reality. And hey, it'll happen. (laughs) Enjoy.